I know it's been a very long time since I posted. I believe my last video went up on New Year's Eve of 2017, and it is now... Oh my god, I had to think of today. Today is actually my birthday. <laughs> I'm recording it on my birthday. I'm probably not going to post it on my birthday, but it's September 7th, 2019. So it's been quite a while. Um, if you literally just look at my last video, my hair has grown quite a bit. So it's been, it's, it, it's, it's been a bit. <laughs> so I just wanted to do just kind of a get ready with me video. Um, kind of going over everything I said in the last video and then catching you up on my life. I've been meaning to post here more for quite a while, but um, it never kind of worked out. So now I want to be more intentional about it. And I don't know why I decided to record today. Um, like I said, it's my birthday, but I'm not doing anything today. I actually prefer kind of not doing anything on my actual birthday, at least for the majority of the day, because I like resting or with makeup apparently <laughs> um also i have sore throat which is great but it seems to be calming down already so hopefully that goes away soon so yeah let's just get into it um i know i've never done it i don't think i've done a get ready video on my channel before so i'm just gonna go between grabbing products and saying them but i cannot promise i'm gonna remember to say everything that i'm putting on my face um but everything I'm wearing, I think, I hope that's how I normally shop, is vegan, cruelty-free, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and then I'm going to actually touch points on my last video. And then bring you kind of up to date on my life right now. First, let me put my hair back because it ain't cute. Where? Oh, okay. So, um... Start with this little eye refresh just because. Okay, it's an elf eye refresh. Refresh. So first, I want to actually address my last video. They said like three times already. A lot in that video is talking about what I'm gonna do to save money at work, um, and it had to do a lot with cooking more or not buying stuff when I'm out at work. Etc. Etc. However, um, I actually haven't been to that job, like working at that job since March ish of 2018. So I didn't have to do it for that long. But even when I did it, it was kind of difficult, um, especially in March when a lot of things happened and I ended up having to go on disability uh, for a bit. And so, like, I try to stick to it. I actually laugh on the whole, like, don't buy Starbucks because I got my Starbucks today. But this is a, a birthday Starbucks, so I didn't, I didn't pay for it. It's free. So mocha frappuccino, soy with extra pumps of chocolate because me. And then, what else did I say? Let me settle in a little bit. Uh, oh, paying off the, con the consolidation loan. I can never say that word. I did. So even through everything that happened, I did pay off that loan um, and it's gone. I do have more expenses that showed up, but I will explain that in a second. But that that loan is gone, finally. <laughs> um, I did have a savings, the savings goal, I think I want like three or four thousand or something. But I don't remember if that was the same as my secret goal, which I will say right now. But that savings goal... Because I was saving up, it kind of helped me out when I went on disability. So, save. But, um, with that, my secret goal was actually um, a moving out fund. Which, I moved out of my parents' house. I was kind of in and out of my parents' house for the end of 2017. But, um, I think it was like May or June. When did we move here? I have the contract somewhere here. Uh, May or June of 2018 moved into my new place with my boyfriend and there's this thing behind us because it is a guest house it is a studio guest house which means you can see pretty much my bedroom as soon as I take this down well you see my TV my, my TV so we have it kind of separated like this from my office and then um, my kitchen's over there and literally everything's in like two 
steps walking. So I like it, but I don't like it. So I do love it here for the fact that it's not big, so I don't have to cling too much of it. But when you're in a small space with two people, things get dirtier faster. So you just got to keep that in mind. Um, I actually know a really good YouTube channel that talks about small space living. So I'm going to link her down below. I cannot remember her name right now, but I'll link her down below. Like I said, my throat hurts. So I know I'm probably not the best idea to drink a mocha frappuccino when your throat hurts, but it's my birthday. So I'm going to do what I want. So this is the, it's the eye primer. There's no label on this. This is the e.l.f. eye primer. Under eye primer? I forgot what they call it. I don't just use it under my eyes though. Like I use it a little bit. I'm totally using the wrong finger. Um, I don't only use it under my eyes. I actually use it like a primer primer because I have not bought a primer and I really like this one. So <laughs> I know they have a big one now since I bought this. Um, and I know it's out, but I'm going to just do what I do and continue on because I actually really like how this feels ever on my face anyway. I know some people don't like it or it doesn't work where, you know, how it's supposed to work like other primers or whatever because this is specifically for some reason, but it works for me where I want it to work. So I'm going to go with it. Um, eventually I will buy that e.l.f. primer. There's a few things on my wish list that I do want to buy. And I do have a $30 gift card thing. Well, points, I guess, to Ulta. So I might just do that. Maybe I'll do that after this video. Because I'm putting up makeup on to go absolutely nowhere. Because I haven't done that in a very long time. Um... I also talked a lot about coffee in that video and as much as I am drinking this there is besides chocolate having caffeine it's not a caffeinated coffee I actually cannot drink caffeinated coffee anymore which used to be part of my daily life if not multiple times a day so that's been a big change <laughs> I would say and honestly it's probably saved me a lot of money uh, if you think about it. I do drink coffee every now and then, but it's all decaf. I have a um, instant decaf because all I really want is the flavor of my vanilla silk soy milk. That's all I'm craving when I crave coffee. Um, because my my heart can't handle coffee. With that segue, let's talk about what happened with um, the whole disability situation and basically me working from home now um and I'm gonna lose my train of thought with my makeup I just did my eyes so oh the next thing I do I'll talk about so this jelly highlighter I like it and I don't but I actually use it underneath everything and it kind of shines through a little bit for me so I don't really like to use it on top either I'll put it underneath my foundation and let it blend in a bit Actually, I'll do that today, or I'll put it on top of my foundation, but I don't know. I still haven't, I've used plenty of jelly highlighters. I just, maybe this one's not a good tone for me. Maybe I just won't use it today. Don't know. Uh, let me just go to foundation. I do foundation before concealer because that's my life. And I also do it before I do my eyes because that's my life. Okay. So around March of 2018, I'm looking over here because I have a, words mirror so around March of 2018 I um, was having a lot of like weird health problems that I never had before I what is it called I felt like I had a really like really really like not like this like a really bad cold it wasn't the it wasn't the flu actually, I actually haven't got the flu in years um, years years um, does that not look like a match for me? I'm probably this light, but it is a match. Uh, <laughs> so it was not fun because I had a doctor at the time that at one point of me going in and out of the appointments, I can't remember when he said it. I just remember that he said it. He literally just said, oh, it just seems like you don't want to work or, you know, you're going to need to just 
realize that you're gonna have to go to back to work soon. First of all, I'm a workaholic. I mean, I was, I now I have a healthier mindset about work. But at, the, at that point, I was a workaholic. It literally made me feel so bad not going to work. Like, I felt guilty not going to work when it was a cold. If, it, if I had a migraine and I literally cannot function, my brain cannot function, um, that's a different story. Like, I had to make a conscious decision to, like, not work. But the audacity he had to say that was just, like, ridiculous. But beyond that, um, one time I went back because I had to go every so often because the doctor's note, you know, expires every so often or whatever. And I was dreading going again because I know something's wrong with me. I know something is literally wrong with me. And he was just like not helping. They gave me a whole bunch of cold medicine, which made me feel 10 times worse. Like, like almost panic attack worse, but I was, I know, I now know later that I wasn't having a panic attack. Um, I do look a lot lighter. Huh. Interesting. What color is this? Light sand. I mean, it's almost done, but this is my color. It looks fine here. <laughs> anyway, so I went in. I'm sitting there, you know how they like take your blood pressure and blah, blah, blah. The nurse noticed that my heart rate, I think at that point was like 110 or something. And she asked me if I was okay. And I said, I feel fine. Uh, other than, you know, feeling like crap. <laughs> like, um, she asked me like, you know, did I, I always get, I get this question asked quite a bit now, but it'll come. Um, she asked me if I rushed in there. Blah, blah, blah. I was like, I was just sitting down. Like, I was actually waiting forever for them to call me. So I was like, I was just sitting down. I just stood up and walked in here. I was just sitting down for like 20 minutes. And she's like, very, she got very concerned, very concerned. And then she literally like said, excuse me, walked out of the room, knocked on the door, which was my doctor was literally with someone else. And um, she told my doctor and I kind of heard like mumbling, um, like Charlie Brown, wah, wah, wah. And I, I was like, what's going on? And she came in, she's like, we're gonna, we're gonna do an EKG. Um, I just want you to calm down. I was like, I'm calm, except now you're making me freak out. So, whatever. So, the, I don't know if that was my first EKG of my life, probably not, because I was in a clinical trial. Definitely not. Okay, it wasn't my first one. And, And so she did an EKG. Honestly, can't remember what, what the results for that is. Like that time was literally a blur. And then all I know is that afterwards, he was then very concerned. And then he referred me to a cardiologist. So you're telling me something was wrong with me. <laughs> and you waited forever to do this. Okay. And then he also, um, I think at that time, prescribed me um, a blood pressure medicine, which my blood pressure is not a problem. It is, but it isn't. Like, I'll get back to that. Not in the way that he thought. Um, it took a while for, you know, everything to get approved, blah, blah, blah. And I had this thing called a tilt test. Where you literally are laid down, legs, and they have you strapped on a bed, and then they raise the bed. Like, that's some sort of, like, inclination and some sort of timing. I thought I was going to pass out. I literally thought I was going to pass out. My heart rate jumped. Everything was going to go. Everything was, I felt like everything was haywire. I, I literally almost had that tunnel vision. Um, but I didn't pass out. I just almost passed out. Anyways, after that, I was diagnosed with, it's called POTS, postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome, which is a form of dysautonomia. So there's a disconnect in my body. Um, so I, you know, I had more disability. I was trying to figure it out. He gave me the wrong blood pressure medicine because she said that would just make me feel worse, which it did. Um, she gave me one to kind of just try, but pretty much there's no cure for this, really. No, no medical cure that they know of for this except um, medical management. So she's like, just try this one, and then you know, come back to me in like two or three months. I'm like, excuse me. I'm like, I don't know what's going on. Okay. <laughs> um. 
Anyway, I can make a whole video about POTS if you want, uh, postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome. If you want, just comment below and I can make an entire video of all my knowledge that I've gained about POTS and my personal experience with POTS because everybody has a different, like, they're like kind of different on like the spectrum of POTS. I'm actually pretty lucky that I'm mobile. <laughs> Some people end up in wheelchairs, which that terrified me. Um, and I, I kind of have it on a good management without medicine, but again, that's just me. So I can go into that in a whole nother video that would take way too long than me putting on my makeup, or I could do another get ready and talk about it. Um, so this is shape tape and light sand. I don't feel like I need it today, but I'm going to put a little bit. Okay. So that kind of dragged on and disability doesn't pay much, at least not what's how much I needed, especially because around that time I moved out. So things are happening. <sighs> Mentally, I can work. Mentally, I was fine. I couldn't work at the job I was at because there was too much up and down, which is a problem for me. It was too much up and down. Um, I couldn't obviously control what was going on with my body at that point. Um, we have like different type of triggers, I would say, like if I forget to drink enough water and it's just, just not water. It's like water with sodium and potassium and all that. Um, if I don't drink enough that I'm going to trigger it. If my migraines actually trigger it worse and I didn't have a good control over my migraines at that point. Um, there's a lot of things that were compounding my issues there. Now around that time, um, I was offered a job working at home full time. And sorry, I do one eye at a time because this does not blend well for me personally. And one time I was taking too long to blend it and it just stayed. I was like, this is not cute. Um, so I took that job and I worked at that job from August 1st 2018 all the way until August 24th of this year so it was a few weeks ago that I I left that job now explain that later and so that worked out pretty good timing um because you know it allowed me to work from home I can actually majority I worked from my bed um with my legs up because it helps having your legs up when things are happening um so that worked pretty good <clears throat> but also during that time, you know, I, I mentioned just before in multiple other videos, I injured the shoulder at my job, not my last job, my last, last job, whatever. I injured my shoulder there at the job that I was at for my last video. <laughs> um, and I finally got approved for surgery and I had surgery. So I have, um, I can see like one scar there. But I have like one, two, three, four, five, four, four, five. I don't know. I have scars, which is fun. Um, that was on December of 2018. So it was eight months ago, if I can do my math. Nine months ago? I don't know. Somewhere in there. Still not good. I mean, this hurts because, ow, okay. Sorry, I like did something weird. Um... Workers' comp is annoying, it can be helpful, but it's also very irritating. I do have a lawyer. If anybody was like, you should have a lawyer, I do have a lawyer. It's the only reason all this got done like this and with a doctor that actually, okay, now I have, I have stories about that doctor too. But um, <clears throat> they denied my last round of physical therapy that my physical therapist said I did, did need to finish off getting not only full range of motion, but strength back in my arm. He said I was doing really well. And I think because they said that I was doing very well, uh, they're like, oh, you're fine. You're done. No, no, I'm not. They also wrote on the denial report, like, you know, that's enough for a rotator cuff. My rotator cuff was not injured. It was a slap tear. And they, they literally moved my bicep. This is a different injury. Please don't confuse two. <laughs> so still fighting that. They're trying to get me to have two more sessions so they can teach me at home stuff, which honestly, I'm like, I don't care anymore. Um, 
I just want this to be over. Because now this shoulder hurts in a completely different way. I just went to my primary doctor, well, primary doctor place. He thinks it's a nerve issue, but he also, he, he, he said it might be rotator cuff if, the, if it doesn't resolve by me taking muscle relaxants and blah, 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 which I don't particularly like taking because I cannot take NSAIDs. Again, my complex life. So I can't have caffeine. I can't take NSAIDs. And also I can't do steroid shots. So a lot of things I can't have, which is fine because those things actually harm your body more than help. The NSAIDs were messing up my stomach really badly. And the steroid shots actually give me hives, which is super fun. Um, and I was told if I get too many of them that it might turn anaphylactic, like my avocado allergy, allergic to avocado, Ve vegan Mexican allergic to avocado. Sorry, let me try that again. Vegan Mexican in Southern California, in Los Angeles, allergic to avocado. It's fine. I don't like it. It looks gross. It grosses me out. Always has. All for you. If I ever have avocado on my plate, go ahead and take it. Don't even need to ask. Get it away from me as fast as possible, actually. Um, I think I don't need this enough. Oh no, did I forget my powder? Where's my powder? I mean, I don't particularly need to set it. To, I have another powder, I just don't like it. I like the e.l.f. powder a lot more. It's funny because the, the powder I use is not even rid of it. Hold please. Um, so I use the, oh, it's actually a finishing powder. Prime, prime and stay finishing powder. I've spent so much money on setting powders. Like this is the one that I had. It's the NYX translucent whatever powder. I don't like this one at all. It makes me feel powdery. It makes me feel cakey and makes me feel like total white cast on me. Don't like it. I use it if I have to and then I just like work with it. But this one is like three dollars I think. As you can tell it's very very well loved and this is my like second or third one. Anyway it's perfect for me. It works perfectly for me. I don't use it all over my face because I actually don't like putting makeup all over my face. And then I put it in the spots that I feel like need a little more help stain normally my forehead around any blemishes that I have and then I kind of put a little bit on my cheeks so my um, blush doesn't bite with me and then I know I said I don't put it everywhere else but I don't like purposely dip back I kind of like just whatever's left on my sponge goes on okay so, um, so yeah, both of them hurt. Um, can't take much of a Tylenol, which is fine. I'll just deal with it. So let me just kind of zoom you back to here. I no longer work for the last company I worked with, worked for. Uh, now I'm back to freelancing. So I do like um, a mixture of projects um, operation systems, things like that online virtually. And eventually I'll be pivoting on to something else, which I will be talking about in a future video. But, um, I am coming, going to a certification, not going, I'm actually, it's going to be online. I wanted to actually go in person, but uh, I missed out by one day and, uh, they sold out and I didn't want to wait longer for the in-person one. So, I'm doing it online, but it's a five day intensive like certification course. Just took a chunk out of my finger. What? Ow. So I'm doing that in October. Um, so just from now until then, I'm gonna be doing like odd jobs, freelancing. Um, I'm pretty much okay money wise, even if I, for example, if I don't make any money, which I've already made money already. Um, but if I don't make any money, I'm pretty much good until December. Um, but I can't just not do anything. I get bored very easily. So that's that. Another big thing that happened this year, this really hurts. Powder just got into it. Put a band-aid on it. 
Also, band-aids are very hard for me because I can't use latex. <laughs> anyway, I should just make a whole video about things I can't use or eat. Um, I forgot what I was trying to say. Let's do eyes. So I have, oh, that's dirty. I don't realize how dirty things are until you put them on camera. So this is the elf. That's his elf there. It's not dirt. Um, Mad for Matt Jewel Pop. I think it was like $10, but I got it on sale because girl gets things on sale. So it has pretty good range of colors. I can do a lot of like looks with this. Um, and it's like a pretty good black that I just put my finger in. I mostly use like this one this one and this one I would say like these two and this one when I'm doing like an everyday look and then I play with colors <clears throat> um I'm losing my voice but I also have this love I would show you my other palettes but they're currently unable to get this was a holiday set I'm gonna remove this I'm just gonna the holiday set from Tarte so I do love this palette. It has a lot of colors and they're very blendable and it has, you know, the highlight, contour, and two blushes. So I might actually use this one. I'll use this one. I'm going in with Pendant first. Just to kind of brighten that up. I really should get my eyebrows done, but also why? pretty much maintain them by myself. I have not done that in a while. In my new area, I like, first of all, I don't trust most people to do my eyebrows. There's this one time I went and I told her, what did I say? I said, um, just clean them up. I don't have that much eyebrows or something like that. And she made them so thin. I was like, I already don't have much eyebrows like that. Totally did not help me, but thanks. Also, there may be a lot of times during this part of the show that I'm going to speed this up because I'm going to be staring at myself, putting my makeup on, putting my eyeliner on, which I normally have to <laughs> focus, <laughs> apparently, in order to do. And then I'm going to go in, in the crease, just kind of like put it in there with, um, let's go with Paradise. If you have this palette, you'll know what colors I'm talking about. I haven't had much sun, so. Alright, so that's all set for a base. I don't know what I want to do, so I'm going to keep talking. Um, I got a life coach this year. It actually was by accident, kind of. I got this thing called, um, it was Ultimate Bundles, which if you're on my email list, you get... Um, from time to time, I'll email out about an ultimate bundle that I think is really great. And that one happened to be a productivity one, which girl, I'm all about productivity. I love anything that has to do with productivity. So I got that bundle, which was a lot of information. These bundles are just like packed with information. But whenever you get something like that, take what you need, leave what you don't. Come back to it later. Um, one thing in there was a five day, um, course from a life coach and you know I did the five day and then she had a 21 day and I jumped onto that um which at this point I paid more and then she had a full three month program and I did that and that all all of her programs are amazing but the three month one was so it was so impactful to me because it I started journaling a lot and writing like I just started writing a lot, exploring more what's in my brain, in my mind, especially with all of my um, anxiety that was coming from my health condition. And then from that actually brought up, even journaling brought up like a lot of like things from the past that I didn't even remember or some things that I remembered, but was trying not to. It helped me work through a lot of things and I still am. Um, and I think it just helped me be a better person for myself, I would say. Um, and when you're a better person for yourself, you can bring your best version to everyone you touch. So like I said, I'm still working on myself. This gave me a lot of tools and a lot of help to just basically dig into my own brain, I would say, 
my own feelings. I think that's the most important, my own feelings, um, because I bottle up a lot of them. I am what you would consider an empath. Also on the Clifton Strength Finder, I, I think my empath is like number three. I believe it's number three. So I'm very high empath. There's a lot of times that I not only take on someone's emotions and I don't understand if that's mine or someone else's, or at least in the past, like now I'm working on it. And that was really hard working at a parking enforcement counter when people are just onslaught mad, mad, not mad at you technically, they're just upset. And I just like, I feel like literally like absorbing, absorbing. And most of the time the people left fine and happy and I helped them. And I think literally, cause I literally like sucked the negativity out of them. And then it just like stayed in me and it was so bad. I didn't know how to let it go. And I didn't know how to block myself. I'm much better at it now. I'm actually, I test it every now and then. I would purposely go out in public and just sit somewhere and let myself feel everything and then block everything. So I've been getting pretty good at it. Um, now there's obviously times that's gonna catch me off guard. Um, there's some energies that are very hard to block. Um, and I've actually been using a lot of crystals lately because I truly believe in their metaphysical properties. So they help me quite a bit. This one is just really pretty, first of all. <laughs> but um, normally carry like a, I have a fire agate and I always have like a tourmaline or anything like that. Um, something to like just either repel or help me or stay in me or just like diffuse or anything like that it really does help or at least I feel like it does you may choose not to believe that but I do <laughs> now I don't think she ever talked about crystals I don't think she did at all that was just my own self-discovery in the whole process of everything and so that being said it actually brought up a whole bunch of things that I've been wanting to do that I noticed I haven't been doing because I've been more or less living for everyone else I'm a, I'm a people pleaser but I've been working on it. I can help people without losing myself. And I know that now. And I'm, I'm good with that. Um, back to my eyes. Before I get too deep into this, get ready with me. I think I want to use fringe. Okay. I'm going to speed this up. I'm gonna now go in with Paradise just to kind of blend out whatever's going on in here. I'm going in with Magical now to blend it even further. It's just how I do things. Also, I love using this. I don't know why I like using this brush. So it's kind of a base for my crease. I'm gonna go a little darker if I need another brush. I'm gonna go in with, what if I want, I think I want warm today. I think that's where I'm going. So let's go with Genie. Be very careful of this because it's really, really dark brown. I'm gonna go in now on my finger with indulgence. Just half of it. So I'm gonna mix it with pink. I don't know what what yet. A little more than half. Okay. And then I'm gonna go with sweets. This brush is shedding. Just right there. This is so washed out, you can't really see it here. I think you could see it better if I change this.
Not really, but I'll leave the lighting for that for now. Actually, no, I can't see myself over here. Um, since I have this palette thingy open, I'm going to continue on with my contour, which I do not have my brush. Where is my brush? It's probably not the best contour color because it's actually a little warm, but there's no shimmer in it, so. I don't know if you're seeing my hair or the contour. <laughs> like most of it's my hair. It's moving around. And sometimes when I may have put too much, I get go back into this finishing powder and I just kind of buff it out. Like sometimes I want like a super cut, sometimes I just want like color coming back in my face. Right. Makeup's interesting. So I'm gonna go ahead with uh, the matte blush that's in here. She may or may not see. Sometimes contour mine always so sometimes I don't care. Um, I feel done with the face face let's do my brows oh wait no putting that highlighter Highlighter, no, sorry. Eyebrows. I'm using the Thrive Cosmetics. I have a few things from Thrive. I would love to buy more because they donate and they're vegan and stuff. But I know I don't like some things. This eyeliner is a little wet for me. Don't use it too often. Um oh I didn't like their lip products on me at all. Actually I to, I don't know if I returned them. I think I gave it to my mom. I actually don't know where they went. Sorry if you hear any noise. I think my landlords are bringing the trash barrels in. Well, look at that. No eyebrow? Eyebrow. No eyebrow. I try not to do too much to my eyebrows because, and then I get used to seeing myself with eyebrows and then I feel like weird without eyebrows, if that makes sense. Brushed out some of that, didn't I? Okay. This one, that's funny. I have days that this one looks really nice and this one doesn't, and then I have days that this one looks really good and this one doesn't, and I just don't care anymore. Let's just go with I'm gonna open that um, elf one that I showed earlier and use the black. I'm trying to use that as an eyeliner. I have a flat brush right here. I feel like this is easier to... Well, this is not easier. I can do all of it, but... Um, what's the word? It stays on longer for me if I do powder. I'm just going to do probably just a wing, maybe. Maybe a little down here. Also, comment down below if you follow any of that beauty drama that's happened in the last three months. Because it wasted so many hours of my life, but I also couldn't stop watching. Like, I just... Well, the reason I like powder is because I know I'm not trying to get a straight line. I'm just trying to put things so it's kind of, it's kind of just there. Okay, 
Now, I love this mascara. It's also from Thrive, but this one's expensive. So I don't know where my other mascara is. Oh, I just finished it. I also have an e.l.f. one that I really do like. However, this is my favorite. I know I probably put mascara on weird, but I don't care. It works for me. Oh, my skin looks really good right now. Oh, it does. Oh, oh I like. I know some people like twirl their mascara. Never been able to do that. Anytime I've done it, I'd like drop the mascara. Or it ends up all over my face. We're done. I don't really like wearing lip stuff, but I do have two of these lip sets. Um, I have this really red one, which is way too red for this current moment. And I have one that's more like my color. Sorry, I just went over to my my hallway, my front hall. <laughs> um, this is where we put our keys. In it cute? cute so cute anyways i think yeah drop this in there so this is the other lip now they all say something on them that have a cuss word so i'm just gonna i'll leave that alone i think you probably saw it but whatever i guess i'll put it on I guess it's a little darker. I am just not a lip girl, just because I don't like anything on my lips, but there you go. Actually, it got darker as soon as I put it on. I also don't have my brush over here, but I'll let my hair back down if you want. Yeah, that's fine. This video is not very long, but I'm gonna speed up some parts. Hopefully it doesn't end up that long. It looks like it's like 52 minutes now, but it's kind of my coming back video. So let me know like what is a good length for you for a video. Some people like long, I personally love long videos. I don't know why. I love anything like around 40 minutes. It's like my jam. But um, let me know like what you guys would like. Um, I have some ideas to come up with. I've said them, some of them I actually mentioned before. Um, I think in my last video I mentioned about replacing disposables. Um, like I know this is disposable, but I actually reuse these cups for a few days until I'm done with them. They just drip to me. Um, but like this is a metal um, straw. <laughs> Um, it didn't come off. It's a metal straw. And I have some other things in the kitchen that replaces that. I actually also have, like, so, like, I have these things. The straw is not in it, of course, but it normally has a straw in there that bends. And then you can keep it on your keychain. So, I have, um, I do actually do want to do a whole video about pots. Or maybe I'll do a few because pots is actually very complex. Um, not pot, but pots. Postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome. Um, I could do a video about my shoulder surgery. I actually had have gotten um, multiple uh, messages on Facebook asking me how I went through surgery with my POTS. Um, it's not too complex, but I understand the, um, the anxiety behind it. So I can make a video about at least my experience with um, having shoulder surgery recovering, blah, 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 and having at least my level of POTS, um, with, and then with some tips and tricks of what I did for recovery for my shoulder. So I was thinking my shoulder, uh, POTS, um, being a little more sustainable. Um, I might do financial videos, but my finances are kind of all over the place, so I might do just a big update video once it settles. Oh, I'm gonna, probably after this, sorry, my nose is starting to run now, which is great. Um, I'm going to do an unboxing video for 
goddess provisions i just got their september box today um so i'm probably gonna actually record it right after this so you might see that right after this as an unboxing like this is actually a actually this amazonite i think it's this one it looks like a different color on camera that's weird i got this from goddess provisions i believe because i don't think i got it anywhere else and then i got this from goddess provisions which i haven't opened yet which i probably should because it's a fire tonic and might make my throat burn and feel better faster oh i also got this from goddess provisions the sunscreen i haven't used yet uh but those are from previous boxes i don't know which box is which this was july i believe i think the sunscreen was july i don't remember the other one so I've been getting them for a while. I do like them. I do have one gripe about them though, maybe two. Um, but I want to see what's in this box. I have a, <laughs> I have an issue with this box, with something that came with the box. And I did email them, so hopefully they hear me out. But I don't know because they haven't responded. So if you have any suggestions of what you want to see, you want you want to ask me questions or anything like that, I can do a Q and A video too. But just post it down below. Or anything like that otherwise if you are a september 7th birthday happy birthday even though i'm not posting it on that day i hope you had a great day um whichever which way you wanted it to happen i hope what you want to happen did happen and i'm just gonna leave you with this very important message it says always be yourself unless you can be a unicorn then always be a unicorn